when you play in your first offline tournament there are a few rules that you have to understand and use which are not there in online play the first and foremost thing is touch piece when we play an offline game if i touch a piece of mine i have to move it like imagine this is my turn my clock is running and i touch the bishop and then before leaving it there i decided i want to move something else can't do that if i touch the bishop i have to move it touch piece so she touched the bishop but then she moved her rook so that's not allowed right so i tell my opponent that you have to move the bishop so she will move the bishop she can move it anywhere she wants it's up to her but she has to move the bishop all right she has moved the bishop if i touch my opponent's piece imagine in this position i went here to capture the pawn but then i realized if i capture it i lose my bishop but i touch this pawn right so i have to take it and i touch my bishop so i have to move my bishop and take it so touch piece is applicable in all offline games especially tournament games also if i make a move and then i leave my hand then the move is done which means i cannot change it like if i put it here and then i put it back and do something else that's not allowed if i left my hand even a little bit then the move is done i can't change it clock is not pressed but i still have to play this move if i kept it here and held it and then made made it back like i kept it back here itself then i don't have to move it here but i touch the bishop so i have to move the piece itself the bishop itself now what if you touch the piece which cannot move for example in this position imagine i touch the pawn thinking i can move it but i can't move it right so then touch piece does not apply i can play any move i want if you want to adjust a piece let's say on the chessboard a piece is kept slightly in a non adjusted way slightly fallen down or misadjusted then you can adjust it but don't immediately grab the piece like if you are black and you touch the piece you will have to move it if it is your turn so before you adjust a piece say adjust if your opponent is sitting here and you want to adjust your piece let's say i'm white and i want to adjust this knight properly before i touch it i say adjust and then adjust it you're not asking for permission from the opponent you're just saying that you're adjusting a piece but you should do it only in your turn if it is your opponent's turn do not adjust your piece do it only on your turn you can also adjust your opponent's piece if it is your turn and let's say his king is kept somewhere like this and i want to keep it properly i can say adjust and i adjust it so that is the first thing touch piece the second thing and the most important rule when we play offline chess which never happens online this rule never happens online it is the rule of illegal illegal move so illegal move is any move that is not allowed the most common illegal move is when your king is in check you don't see it and you play some other move or you put your king into a check i'll give you an example it's my turn and i move my king here and i press the clock so i made an illegal move because there's a queen here right so this move is not possible so what my opponent would do is the opponent would stop the clock and call the arbiter and tell the arbiter that i have made like my opponent would say that i have made an illegal move it's a check and the king moved here into a check so the arbiter would make a note of it and will add time to my opponent's clock 2 minutes will be added to the clock now in the same game if i make one more illegal move in the same game then i lose the game the opponent would again call the arbiter and the arbiter will make a note of it if it is a second time in the same game i lose the game so two illegals in a game means you lose the game one thing to remember is if your opponent has made an illegal don't call the arbiter immediately before the opponent presses the clock let him make the illegal 
and then let him or her press the clock. Once they do that, then we pause the clock and call the arbitrator. Don't do it before the opponent presses the clock. Only then we should call the arbitrator. One interesting example which has made a lot of people lose games is imagine in this position I'm white and let's say black has, black has played this move. Black has given a check to my king. Without noticing that, let's say I touch my knight and made a move and I press the clock. Illegal, right? It's a check and I move my knight. So the opponent would stop the clock, call the arbiter and tell that I've made an illegal move. Now that's not it. The illegal is counted. My opponent will get two minutes added on the clock. But now because I touched the knight, I have to move the knight. If there is any legal move possible with this knight. So to block this check, I have a move possible with the knight. So I have to play it. Even though I don't want to, because it will take it. I will have to play the knight because I touched the knight. I made an illegal move with the knight in which in the process I touched the knight. So touch piece applies and I have to move the knight. Even though I don't want to. Because now after I make the move, opponent would just take it and it will soon be game over. So a lot of people lose games like this because of not seeing the check. So always check your opponent's last move. That will be a useful way to avoid illegal moves. She has moved the bishop. She has made an illegal move. So I have played queen here, right? So I pause the clock, I call the arbiter and tell that my opponent has played an illegal because the queen is giving a check to the king, right? So the rook cannot move. Now she has touched the rook, right? So she has to move the rook. She has to move the rook. So see, so there was one legal move with the rook, so she made the move with the rook. The game continues. Adjust. If I want to adjust a piece, it's my turn, I can just adjust it after saying adjust. Again, I call the arbiter after pausing the clock because it's an illegal move. So the king can't take it, so she has to move the king anyway. The game continues. The arbiter would actually add time to the clock, so this is the second illegal. Right? So second illegal loses the game, but here let's continue the game. Just check. The third thing to understand is when you play an offline game in a tournament, how do we offer a draw and how do we resign? So you can offer a draw anytime during the game. So let's say I make a move and I want to offer a draw. I press the clock and I tell my opponent I offer a draw. Or you can just ask draw. Don't expect an immediate answer. The opponent can think it over. Opponent can, make, can even not reply. If your opponent does not say anything and makes a move, that means he has declined your offer. If the opponent says no, that's a de declining of the offer. If the opponent says yes, then the game is over. You shake hands and it's a draw. You can also resign the game anytime you want, at any point. You can just say I resign and the game is over, you shake hands. The fourth thing to understand is the usage of the clock. So this is a chess clock which will be there in all tournaments. As you can see there is two sides, your side and your opponent's side. Clock will be kept next to black's right side. right? So when the game starts, you press this button to start it. The game is started. So you press this button and the game starts. Now after you make a move, I press the clock. 
my side and after my opponent press makes a move opponent presses their side of the clock if i want to pause the clock i press this button the sender button over here clock is paused and one thing to understand is you have to always press the clock with the same hand that you used to make the move like i can't keep my hand here make a move and press that's not allowed i have to make a move and then with the same hand i should press the clock otherwise opponent will complain to the arbiter and he will have to he will be punished the arbiter will give you warning if you keep repeating it you may even lose the game so make your move and with the same hand press the clock you can alter between hands like for one move you made the move with the right hand and after opponent makes a move you can make a move with the other hand if you want to i mean you don't want to but if you want to you can do it but you press with the same hand instead don't press with the other hand right so make the move and then press the clock with the same hand if your opponent forgot to press the clock let's say the opponent played a move he or she forgot to press the clock you don't have to remind that person i mean it would be nice to remind the person but we are not here to be nice right it's their fault that they didn't press the clock so we can wait let the clock run if the person runs out of time or loses time that is not our fault he or she did not press the clock so you can just wait till he or she presses the clock if your time runs out and if your time becomes zero basically then you lose the game during an offline game in a tournament if you have any issues like your opponent is disturbing you or he or she is offering draw too many times or any issue or let's say he touched a piece and moved something else so any issue you pause the clock call the arbiter and tell the issue to the arbiter the arbiter will solve the issue and he or she will start the clock and the game will continue